You know, we could actually use complex numbers to solve quadratic equations that don't have real solutions. Let's look at this. x squared equals negative 36. How would you solve that? Well, if we just sort of plow right ahead, we'll notice that it's already a perfect square. We can just take plus or minus square roots of both sides. And if we do that, we get the green light for go. We get x equals plus or minus square root of negative 36. And what's that? Well, that's plus or minus square root of the negative 1 times square root of 36, which equals plus or minus i, square root of 36 is just 6. And so I see x equals plus or minus 6i. Again, there are two answers, but they're both complex. There's 6i and there's minus 6i. Neat. So even, even with quadratics with these crazy things, i is no problem. There's no problem with me. There's no problem with i. 2x squared plus 18 equals 0. We can proceed just by trying to isolate the perfect square. 2x squared equals negative 18. So x squared equals negative 9. And so now I can take plus or minus the square root of both sides and see x equals plus or minus square root of negative 9, which equals plus or minus square root of negative 1 times square root of 9 which equals plus or minus i, square root of 9 is 3. And so I see plus or minus 3i. Again, two answers, 3i and minus, uh, or negative 3i, negative 3i. So neat. The point is that you can solve quadratics. Sometimes the answers might not be very real. But I am there to protect you. <laughs>